Hello Zebrahead, welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus, a brand new type of Pokemon game. This looks like Pokemon is going into a territory they've never gone before. A more or less open world Pokemon game to explore, find Pokemon to battle them. This seems totally different and quite an interesting way to kick off the new year, so I'm definitely excited to hop into this one. I don't know too much about it. I tried to avoid too many trailers or spoilers or anything so that I could go into this as fresh as I could for you guys. And we'll try to play as much as we can. I'm sure, of course, as always, we'll try to catch as many Pokemon, involve them, and just sort of enjoy the adventure. So with that being said, let's get started with Pokemon Legends Arceus. <laughs> Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. And Zebras too, as a matter of fact. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Oh, cool, okay, we're already choosing our character. I think I'll go with this first one but good to see some options here. What is thy name? My name is Zebra, of course, that hasn't changed. Zebra, sounds good. Zebra. Soon thou shalt find thyselves in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Zebra. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Ooh. What a challenge. Morning. Whoa, okay, what a rude awakening. What's going on? We're falling. Or are we floating? Sorta of hard to tell, oh no. Oh, there it is again. Arceus is getting rid of our cell phone. Oh no, he's giving it back. Thank you. I'm a little confused, but something's happening. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, this is exciting. I have really not known what to think about this game. I've been sort of trying to avoid the trailers and stuff besides the very first one I saw. Just because of how different this looked, I wanted to experience as much of it as, as, as soon as I could through the actual game. Wake up. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh, we got our starters here, whoa. Are you alive, my boy? Who's this? Whoa. Look at this place. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? Well, it certainly wasn't by choice. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No, nowhere. So, you don't know anyone here? 
and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. Don't even have shoes to walk around wearing our sandals. I see, well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. <laughs> Got our wonderful Pokemon here. Also adorable. Oh my, I had completely forgotten. I had just called up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It almost, uh, it's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Zebra. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is, is Lavington. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these here. Oh, goodbye. Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run for me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Sure, I mean, doesn't seem like we have much else coming going on. Wait, you there, wait. <laughs> well, okay, and they're gone. Wow, would you look at this, this is crazy. So, just like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, anything we see in this game, we can reach. It's a fully open world, and that is so exciting, at least as far as I understand. So we get to run around, explore the environment, find some Pokemon, this is really cool. Can we go inside this building, I wonder? Maybe it's locked. I guess it's locked for right now. Can I pick stuff up? Yeah, I'm not quite sure if we had the same abilities Link would have, of course. We're more of a trainer than we are an adventurer, I suppose. So what is that? Whoa. There's a glowing, beeping object over there. Investigate. Oh, I wonder if this is what Arceus did to our phone. You found something that resembles a phone, I think so. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Yeah, it sort of looks like Arceus. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this Arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. All right, well then let's get to it. I'm sure there's there's a lot of Pokemon to catch if it's like any other Pokemon game, so we have our work cut out for us. But oh, there he is. Okay. <sighs> Alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. <laughs> that one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Ha ha ha. I love the little run. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. They're all so cute. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. You obtained 50 Pokeballs. 
a mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. That is so interesting. So I guess there will be some kind of gathering involved and we'll be able to craft our own stuff. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and, why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. So what's interesting about that is that with this game, it's a lot more, I suppose, like primitive compared to the Pokemon games we're used to. The technology is an advanced. The idea of catching Pokemon is new to this world. And that is so interesting because a lot of Pokemon is very technological, very fancy, very futuristic, but not this one. So cool to see some new territory being approached with the Pokemon games. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. It's okay, we all struggle with stuff. Throwing Pokeballs. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready the Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do, so use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've ready a Pokeball, but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Okay, so we have 50 Pokeballs to start with. If you do, if you run out of balls, something, I don't know what they said. I'm sure you have many questions after you, your fall from the sky, but let's go one step at a time, eh? Besides, catching those Pokemon is to their benefit too. All right, so I see Cyndaquil over this way. Oh, hey buddy, can I just throw this over? I gotcha. Oh, are you gonna jump out? Sort of scary, it's, whoa, we gotcha. This is so interesting. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. Seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon, catching business zebra. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Okay, so I guess I can just talk to them if I do run out of uh, Pokeballs. Oh yeah, Bunny, gonna go for Oshawott now. And I think we got it, two out of three. I can hardly believe it, Zebra. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharp, shall we? So where could Rallop be? There you are. All right, let's see how far we can throw it. Oh, almost. What about from here? Got it. So there are some long distance throws. It looks like, oh, uh, or. Rollet did jump out of that one. Ah yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. So once again, I feel like, it seemed like there was a little exclamation mark for my long distance throw was, I guess it was just sort of a little emote, but I wonder if maybe if we sneak up on Pokemon and hit them when they're not looking, would that give us a higher chance of catching them? I feel like there's this extra strategy now that we can move around and aim our shots and stuff. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village, almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Zebra, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Well, this might not be our first Pokemon adventure. We've had quite a few of them. Seek out all Pokemon. The object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? I suppose so. 
If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. I wonder what this region is called. H have they said yet? I don't know. Uh, but in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Crazy to think of Pokeballs being a new invention. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Uh, you've convinced me, of course I'll help. What else are we gonna do around here? This is even there's too much to do. <laughs> then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. That volcano in the background has my interest. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Jubilife, isn't that also, isn't there a Jubilife city? So I wonder if that takes place in one of the same regions that we see in one of the other Pokemon games. Ooh, that's a bit foreboding. <laughs> There's definitely something going on with that. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Huh, so it looks like there's some guards around the town. I guess there's some dangerous things out there then. Wow, but look at this a whole village full of people. Also looks like the sun is setting, which is really pretty aesthetic. This way, if you please. All right, we're moving. Jubilee Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people and the galaxy something. This road we're on now is to the locals, known as locals as Canela Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet. Many do it. Not many do it. And since we know so little about the local Pokemon, people hesitate to sit foot outside the village. He speaks really fast. Now that's impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall. Okay, Galaxy Hall right here, gotcha. And there's people talking at us over here too. There's, there's so much going on. Oh, botheration, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past the bridge here, then to the left, the wallflower, it's called. Okay. Oh, your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. The map and markers. Use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. You'll also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try to spot one of these markers. Then head for it. Okay, that's very useful. Yeah, sorry if I wasn't keeping up with the text very well there. I tried my best to, you know, read it clearly while also reading it with the right speed, I suppose. Can I talk to people now? Yeah, here's show. This region is huge, and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon too, but you came here anyway. How come? Well, it wasn't too much of a choice, but seems like it could be fun, despite the dangers. This is Waka. Back in my hometown, I've got an older brother who's gonna inherit the family farm and all, but I'm gonna make my own way here in his suite. I thought this was Jubilife. Maybe, maybe it's part of a greater region. Bellamy. I'm pretty new to the village myself. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. Same here. 
Everybody's got something useful to learn from. This is Flaro Main Street, apparently to the top left. So there's different areas with different locations, which is nice. Hello. Oh gosh. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Sorry. <laughs> the wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. But I was sent by the professor. What are we gonna do now? Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced mean in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not too long ago and had to take my bed, take to my bed. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Wow, it's so incredible the difference here. There's so much danger involved in this world compared to some of the other Pokemon games in that way. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! But everything will be quite all right now. Zebra here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to be the survey corpse? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Oh, Captain Silene! Oh wow, they look serious. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I'm the captain of the Galaxy's Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Well, nice to meet you, Silene. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped, into his, slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Seems like a fair trade. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us with any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Very stoic. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Benny was a person who didn't trust us. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Thank you very much, Benny. Professor Lavinson, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself with only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region, so that's the region we're in, Hisui. Hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> I'll try my best. That there are, in the grass, in the forests, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as a survey corpse is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might, be pos they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Zebra will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that, 
This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Guess we have a pretty good throwing arm. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one wild Pokemon co come after us. Or when one, yeah, when one of them come after them. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, that Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the survey course really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Yo, Captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. Oh no. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good Captain's stress heating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Zebra. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all of its members' needs even if send members fell out of the sky. All right, well, guess we get a nice warm meal here. I think potato mochi would be served, served warm, I'm not really sure, ever had it. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Zebra has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Zebra's skills even though it would be nice to get some practice in. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Zebra, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Ooh, okay, that's very nice of them. Provide us a place to stay. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to, to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Wow. This is a very ruthless Pokemon world compared to what we're used to. Think about it, every other Pokemon game we start nice and comfy in our mom's house, you know, up in our own bedroom with video games, and in this one we might be cast out on our own in the wild. Captain Silene's somewhat like his Sui, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend is enough, has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Good night. Yes, good night. Whoa. So we fell out of this. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Definitely has a mysterious vibe to it. So I guess we could talk to a couple people before we head off to bed. We got Benny back over here. They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my suit foot roots to make my potato mochi tasty. Okay, sounds good. Hello. And then, are you looking for someone? What is this? Oh, I can craft? Must be some kind of workbench. So I guess we'll learn more about that as we move along. I sort of want to talk to whoever we can, learn a little bit more. Beauregard, Beauregard I think, yeah. Commander Kam Kam Kamado is fantastically strong. Rumor has it he once sent a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. That sounds very interesting. Choi, now who might you be? I haven't seen you here in the village before. Seems to be some kind of a uh, shop owner. This is Tama. The captain of the survey corp, Silene. I wonder if anything actually scares her. Who knows, I don't really know them very well. A new hairstyle means a fresh outlook. And a fresh outlook lets you change your fortunes. That's Edith. And finally, I talked to this person, this is Anth. I like Anth's hair, very cool. I've never seen clothes quite like yours, huh? Where might they be from? Not really sure, I mean, I guess, in our world, just about anywhere, t-shirt and shorts. Uh, let's go in. So I guess for at least tonight, home sweet home. Actually really nice in here. We have a place to cook, a place to sleep. Got a big tra chest to look into in an unfamiliar land. Sleep until morning in the futon in your quarters. This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. Huh. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. 
The jug used to store drinking water, it has a lid on top to keep the debris from falling in. Oh, I guess we have, I think it's a notebook? Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hiswi region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keepings will save you from such a fate. Saving your progress. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu. Now scroll with the ZR, ZR button. Gotcha, so we know how to save that. Is there anything else? I'm just sort of looking around so we can get an idea of what does what. It's a dresser of very solid construction where extra sets of clothing can be kept. Okay, so is there really anything more we gonna light? It's a paper lantern. It seems to use oil as fuel. Oh, that's neat. Whoa, we got little rocks, are those? There are some lovely stones that some someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Huh, it's a full-length mirror. What is this? Our five principles. One, behave with courtesy to others. Two, superiors are owed you respect. Three, likes and dislikes are a luxury you'll afford it. Four, those who are weaker must be helped. Five, Difficulties must be faced head on. Some good core tra or traits to live by, I suppose. Rest until tomorrow morning? Yes. So wow, what a first day in this unknown land. We're only getting started. Oh no, what's happening? Oh, the dude. Another hole in the sky. Is someone else gonna be falling out of this one? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at that big tree. The next day. That was dramatic. Good morning, Zebra. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today, Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it a raw. I definitely will. Would be nice if we could get a change of clothes, though. Go to the Galaxy Team Headquarters to hear about your trial from Captain Silene. Okay, sounds good. All right, so I guess we're just heading out for now. There's not too much we can really do in this area. Hello again. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. I don't know about my, our character here, but I don't think I would have been able to sleep very much. Let's get to the headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. All right, let's go. So it looks like we have mostly the same people. I mean, I don't know if they'll say anything new. Looks like they're saying mostly the same things. This is Shannon. We've no food for freeloaders. Survival out here is a daily battle, you know. I understand. I'll make sure to do my share of the work as much as I can if I'm allowed to stay. Whoa, very fancy in here. Was not expecting that. Sort of looks a lot different inside here than it did outside in the village. The Seve Corp's offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up, keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, numbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corpse will put you to rights. That lands with the security corpse. Even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. With a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particular, or without a partner Pokemon, you might find it particularly trying. Captain Silene, Zebra is here. You may enter. Silene looks like a very busy person. That's a lot of paperwork. Let's just get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shanks. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. 
But if this stranger not cached three different Pokemon only yesterday, my trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Well, there's an Abra back there. I will lend you one of our Survey Corp satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Looking good. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. I'll have to make two for now. Akari. I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Mission, the Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Guiding now active, I wonder what that does. Checking missions and requests. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone, and you can check the tasks you, you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions can, must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and given by the people you meet. So we have basically main quests and side quests. Pardon, Zebra, come with me a moment. Sure thing. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Zebra absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Ah, do we actually get the choose out of the starters? We won't have to go it alone with no Pokemon? Go on, Zebra, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. It's gonna be so hard deciding, they're all so wonderful. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off a wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear, dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Oh no, I really gotta think about it. Choose a Pokemon to be your first partner in preparation for your trial. So all three are, of course, wonderful. I think that with me st picking a water starter uh, in our most recent Pokemon playthrough of uh, Shining Pearl, I think this time I'm gonna go with grass. I don't often go with the grass starter in Pokemon games, so I think now we'll do Rowlet. Woo. Do you want Rowlet as your first partner? Yes. Hey, Rowlet. And Rowlet has some really cool evolution, so I think this will be a good fit. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach from me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Rowlet back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it, it's yours. Thank you so much. Very generous of the professor. You received a Rowlet. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokemon or Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Boom. Okay. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Rowan. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Zebra fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. It would be nice if we could, you know, bring those two along with us. I don't see the harm. By the by, which species has Captain Sileen charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Field Lands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial then. You obtain 20 Pokeballs, so not nearly as much as we got before. Th these Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Okay. Maybe I can talk to some people before I leave, get some words of encouragement. Wouldn't it hurt? You know what is expected of you. Now it's up to you to see things through. And the professor's over here. Hello. 
he has a very, uh... Very filled room. Uh, you'll have this trial cleared in no time. Thank you. Oh, is that Oshawa in the little aquarium? That's so cute. Up on the third floor is the office of the Galaxy Team's commander, Kamado. You're not going up there until we know a little more about you, mystery kid. See, I guess we can go. That's all right, we have our own missions in mind right now. Let's head outside and I guess go out into the field. See if we can't find those Pokemon we're after. I'm a little nervous to say the least. This seems like it's gonna be a lot more of a challenge than your average Pokemon game. Depart for the Obsidian Fieldlands and from Jubilee Village's front gate. Okay, so I guess let's try, whoa, is that the whole map? Hold on. Wow, look at this. I love sort of the hand-drawn style to it all. Very cool. So yeah, let's get going. I think we'll just head straight for now. We've talked to most of these people in this area. But there were some people back here I hadn't yet talked to, like you. I'm worried about the state of things here in Jubilee Village. We lack basic necessities and there are some strange people around. I, You know, they might be talking about me, so maybe I'll give them some space. <laughs> Uh, a couple more people over this way. Just wanna say hello. Uh, what manner of dress is that? To catch one of the Pokemon creatures, you need to throw a Pokeball at it. If you intend to stay here in the village, you should spend some time talking to everyone. I'm on it, don't you worry. Right, right, the survey corpse. One odd way to dress. Is that fashionable where you're from? Uh, it's pretty standard, I'd I suppose. I had a rather traumatic experience when a wild Pokemon attacked me. Now I'm scared to even set foot outside the village. It's really scary. Hopefully we can help make the town a bit safer. If you want to guard the village properly, we'll need a part to part you we'll need to partner up with Pokemon. Gotcha. Well, we have a little rowlet now, so hopefully things turn out well. You won't find any Pokemon on Prelude Beach. It's about as safe as things get around here. They say the Pokemon of Hisui are even more savage and powerful than those of other regions. So we sort of chose a, a rough spot to land, falling out of the sky. So I guess we're just going now. Is there any way to see on the map specifically? Oh, I should be going to that gate. Okay, when it said front gate, I had thought this was the front gate. Okay. My bad, gotta run the other way. Can we sprint? I guess not. This is sort of the fastest we can go, which is fine. This is still pretty quick. It gives us an extra chance to get a little bit more of the lay of the land. We got behind the houses here. Do they have Pokemon on these farms? Because that's definitely something that seems to be a bit different about this game is the civilizations aren't working as closely with Pokemon as you see in the other Pokemon games. Village pastures. I wonder if there's any cap anyone capable of catching enough Pokemon to fill all the pastures here. So it looks like it's possible, but maybe not as common. Well, there's a couple more people to talk to around here then. Hello. Back in my hometown, I've gotten, oh yeah, that's right, we already talked to them the previous day. So never mind. we'll leave you be. Is this a painting store? Whoa. Oh, look, it's a Ponyta. Cool. Pokemon terrify me. Even going out to gather berries is the worst. Oh wow, I wonder who this is. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Gink Go Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in a battle? Uh, I'm not sure how this'll go, but sounds good, always up for a challenge. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're, you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. 
Well, let's hope that doesn't happen then. Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenged you to a battle. Volo sent out Togepi. Go Rollet. So here we go, our first battle in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Okay, so how does this work? We can fight and gust. There we go. Rollet used gust, and that did some damage. Oh, and we can just run around too. I can get in the middle of the action. That might not be the best idea. Uh, <laughs> uh, fight, I'll just keep doing gust for right now. This is a lot more interactive than our average Pokemon battle, I can tell you that much. Oh, this is getting close, but we just need to hit you one more time with Gus, and I think we got it. Can run up, maybe distract you a little bit. <laughs> you defeated Togepi. Wow, battle decided. Moves, items, we use them well. The world will open up to you. And we got level six for all it. How nice, a new move as well. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they get experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon moves. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change your, the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and collect the change or select the change moves option. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only they if only more knew how to use Pokemon. Or Pokeballs. Sorry, I'm misreading a lot of stuff. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. Thank you very much. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. You obtained five potions. Potion, a topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. All right, we'll see you below. Nice meeting ya, and nice to battle you, I suppose. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell Rust the Guardsman where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Depart for the Obsidian Fieldlands from Jubilee Village's front gate. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Hello, he's gonna tell you where we're going. Oh, well, I'm not facing the right way. Your zebra correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. All right. So, you wish to go to the field lambs camp? Or do we want to go here? I guess it's both the same. Oh, so there's sort of a form of quick travel then. Interesting. Because I think we can walk everywhere, but I guess some some places we might just want to quick travel. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shanks. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Ah, oh, well, you see, Captain Sightling got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to, to lift a finger. Zebra's talents are the real deal. They'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me then. Well, I'm sure Zebra will be fine. Let's begin the trial. I will certainly try my best. All right, catch a Bidoof, the first Pokemon species you need for your trial. If Pokemon start launching attacks at you, run to safety as quickly as you can, all right, my boy? On your entry trial, are you? Stay alive, and good luck passing, too. All right. Oh, there you are. I was like, where'd you go? This 
This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Whoa. Good view. Obsidian Fieldlands. And along comes a Bidoof. Time to get ready for something. <laughs> so cute, even if it is dangerous. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice, I'm just sharing what I know. Focusing in the field. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends not to run from people, so this'll be easy. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, I don't know where they want. Akari. So I guess we gotta talk to them first. You ought to be able to catch a Bidoof with a well-thrown Pokeball. There's Bidoof. Whoa, I'm going first person right now. Is that what I wanted? I guess, okay, no, here we go. Oh, I did, did not hold that for long enough. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Is he gonna get caught? Yes, it will. All right, Bidoof, not too much of a problem then. He caught a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. So far, so good. I'd say this might even be easier than catching Pokemon in some of the other games. Oh, there's a Starly. Was Starly on our list? There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. Yeah, I guess it was Bidoof Starly Shanks. So we'll have to be sneaky about this one. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Crouching down. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the scene button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouched low, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Isn't that interesting? So normally, we have to go into the tall grass to find Pokemon. In this game, we go into the tall grass to hide from Pokemon. So let's try that out right now. We'll sneak over, and then we're just close enough. Oh, I'll miss. I didn't hold it for long enough. Whoopsies. Oh, Helma's rolled it in there. Okay, so made a bit of a mistake there. They ran back. It's okay, we'll just sneak over. And once we are in the tall grass over here, I think this will help. Let's move nice and slow, just to be careful. Got it. But will that be a catch? Yes, it will. So two out of three done. That's Charlie caught it. That's Charlie caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. I guess down this way then. So now we're just looking for Shanks. I forgot, there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Siling tells us, have an item at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item? Press X. The Captain's a real expert on these things. Oh. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shanks. So before I do that then, I can switch to Rowlet and throw you onto this tree. Oh, and we get three Orin Berries for that. Thank you, Rowlet. But probably we can also throw you at rocks. Doesn't seem to do too much. Uh, hi, Rowlet. <laughs> so cute. Uh. I don't do too many other things to interact with, so I guess we'll turn. Are you sure you know where you're going? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Back over this way, we'll talk to Akari then. There, that's Shinx. Whoa, <laughs> of course we caught a Shinx in our uh, Shining Pearl playthrough. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? More or less. I thought you might. I can never tell, tell until I focus on the Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Take cues by focusing. 
When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. So the one on the left is the hardest, the one on the right is the easiest. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You gotta battle them. Once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them and try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Starting Pokemon Battles. It's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. If you if you can see that you're currently you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. Gotcha. So should we just start out with a battle? As you can see, the Shinx ready to go. So yes, we will. Um, go for it, Rowlet. Oh, scary. The battle begins. Rowlet versus Shinx. Watch Shinx use quick attack. So I want to uh, fight and then use, I uh, also have Leaf Edge. That's a new move. I don't know if that'll be very effective against Shinx. It was fine. So I definitely want to hide, but uh, let's go ahead and do Gust. And then while that's happening, not very effective. Shrinks is looking around. Maybe now is the time to throw the Pokeball. Can I do that? Do you want to throw a Pokeball? Yes. Will that be enough? I don't want to accidentally take down the Shanks, right? Oh, not quite. It's not no good. So let's try one more. Gust. Hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, it's real low. Shrinx is looking around. Let's try it now. You want to throw a Pokeball? Yes. But maybe this isn't how it works in this game. Maybe I have to fully take the Shinx out. Uh, let's try it and see what happens. Shinx is looking around. Uh, let's do Gust one more time. Not very effective, but we defeated Shinx and they end up fading away. No, no, don't knock the Shinx out. Catch it. Even in battle, you can throw an empty Pokeball at it like you would any other time. Okay, so I was right with that. But I wanted to make sure you never know this is a whole new Pokemon game with a whole set of experiences. Maybe it does work differently. It doesn't, but now we know. All right, so let's fight again. Let's use Leaf Edge. And that gets it into the yellow. So while it's in the yellow, we're gonna hit it with a Gust, because we know that doesn't do very much damage. So it'll probably get it almost in the red. We can do that one more time. I think that'll put the chances enough on our side. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, they're using Quick Attack to draw it. So this is where we're gonna be careful. Yeah, so throw the Pokeball. Come on. And I wonder if hiding in the tall grass and surprising, we did catch it. That's it, you caught Shinx. But no more if hiding would give us like a higher chance or something. You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift that the sky dropped to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corpse has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm so curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head to head back. Sure. Oh, -ho. I said you'd pass a trial with flying colors and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Zebra. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Neat, so they do have uh, cameras. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we must report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Sounds good. But yeah, what an exciting trial. Now we know a little bit more about what it takes to catch a Pokemon in this region. 
In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up the six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Well, we already have, what, four Pokemon? Come on, uh, come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. Galaxy Team team's entry trial. Report to Captain Silene about how your trial went. All right, I'm on it. How exciting, though. It's just really cool to be exploring such a new, fresh world in Pokemon. If you're gonna live here from now on, I suggest you sign up with the Galaxy Team. Exactly what we're trying to do. Okay, so we won't waste too much time. We'll go straight over to Silene. I think Captain Silene will be very pleased. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. You received the Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. You could change in the room you used last night, then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Whoa. Use to mirror in your quarters to change into your new Survey Corps uniform and Survey Corps sandals. How exciting. When you're ready to get into your uniform, make sure to use the mirror in your quarters. All right, so I think we'll go back home then. But still, what an exciting start to our adventure here. Dropped into an unknown land with a lot to prove, but so far, we seem to be doing a pretty good job if we were able to impress Silene. That doesn't seem to be a very easy task. Very serious person. We've got a nice place to stay and everything. So lots of exciting, interesting things I'm sure are ahead for us here. Really looking forward to it. This is such a new experience for Pokemon and that's a lot of fun. And I'll be trying to post as many episodes of the series as I can, but if you haven't already, a few months ago, we even had a other new Pokemon adventure start. We've been playing through Pokemon Shine and Pearl. So yeah, there's lots of new Pokemon stuff coming. I hope you guys are excited for it. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.